What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be doing something different, okay? So obviously at this point in time, we are all waiting for the 2.0 update. We're waiting for Happy Home Paradise. We're waiting for Amiibos. None of that has come yet, okay? Future Pat, you're a lucky man, all right? Today I'm going to be doing something different, okay? I've I've picked up seven rumors that are going around about 2.0 and about the DLC. And today what we're going to do is we're going to react to them, okay? And just using the 23 minutes of footage that Nintendo gave us, that's the only thing they've really been vocal about. We're going to be going over these rumors and seeing if there's any truth to them. And I'm going to give my final opinion. I would love it if you guys gave some dialogue in the comments saying like which ones you believe, which ones you don't believe. So obviously we are starting in order. I'm going to try to do these in order so it's easier on me and you. Uh, the first one is about Brewster's Cafe, The Roost. And uh, the main rumor going around is that you can't work here, all right? So it's pretty logical thinking. I mean, Nintendo didn't show it, and you, you'd you'd feel like a mini game like that. I feel like it's a pretty major mini game. You would think that Nintendo would at least tease it or show the player working at the roost. So the big rumor going around is that we can't work here. My initial thoughts, and okay, so what they showed doesn't point to anything. So a lot of these that I'm going to be talking about today have evidence attached to them. This is just a theory based on the lack of information they gave us. So the really the only things that they told us were, hey, you can hang out at the roost. You can invite amiibos. They can bring over their friends, which I'm actually super excited about. I can't wait to swipe in certain amiibos and see if they actually work, first of all, and who they bring. So, you know, we can invite people. They, they went over amiibos and then they went over how our friends can come over. So I guess this is all like speculative, really. I mean, this is all just a guess, I guess. So I am going to say, and this is a good shot right here. I am actually going to disagree with this rumor. And I'm going to say that we will be able to work at the roost. All right. This might be bold. Okay. Because there's nothing pointing towards this except past games. If you didn't know, Brewster works similar to Sable. Okay. So in, in New Horizons, if you talk to Sable at first, she's very standoffish. She doesn't give you anything. But if you keep talking to her, she eventually gives you her patterns and she goes into the Able Sisters backstory. It's like one of my favorite parts and one of my favorite like relationships in terms of NPCs. Brewster somewhat works like that, except you have to visit the Roost. I believe in New Leaf, it was seven times. If you ordered coffee seven times, you can then start working as like a barista and like, for example, Isabel would walk in and you would have to make her order. This mat right here and this little card looks like a pickup area, okay? So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, Brewster is gonna be a, you know, is gonna be kind of standoffish at first, but we're eventually going to be able to get some sort of relationship with him and work here. This I think is the only one that's kind of speculative uh, but let me know what you think about this, but I think that we're going to be able to work here. All right. Rumor number two involves Harv's Island. Okay. And the big rumor going around is that the NPCs that used to visit our Island, once they come into Harv's Island, once we recruit them by paying the gyroids, they aren't going to come back to our islands and they're not, no longer going to visit. This actually is... Well, the rumor, there's some truth to it, but I, I feel like this is something that we are going to have to wait and see. I mean, like much of these, but this one especially because they show Harv's Island and they don't really say a ton, okay? So, you know, you can pay your gyroids, uh, accepting donations to fund a merchant, offering rugs. And so, you know, and they actually show, you guys have seen this trailer a million times. Of course they show all of them. So, you know, you have red here, you have leaf and things like that. And the rumor is that our NPCs are now going to be locked to this island and won't visit our main island anymore. So this rumor, I am also not believing. I don't think this is going to happen. I, I don't think that Harv is going to take away our NPCs. I think from a game standpoint, if that does happen, our islands are going to seem really empty. And I don't think they would change a major mechanic like that. My personal thought is that these NPCs are actually going to have exclusive items that you can only buy on this island. 
but they will still visit us on our main island. And I actually have a frame in here that kind of backs up my point. Right here, when they're going over the new camera mode, when they're going over first person mode, and remember this frame because we're actually going to come back here for another one of the rumors. Uh, this shows, obviously, Leaf in the plaza. Now, I could go one of two ways here, all right? I think that NPCs are going to stay. See, like Leaf's in our plaza. I think NPCs are going to stay. However, there might be something to that. This is another one I really want your opinion on. Uh, we are going to come back to this frame, but just note that, okay, well, I, I'm in the way here. Just note that this cart, this sign is new. So why would they model a brand new sign if Leaf eventually isn't going to be in our plaza anymore? So I'm going to say with confidence that our NPCs are still going to visit our islands. Next rumor is we are actually getting more crops than what is shown. This one is a very interesting one because this right here, they show us six crops, okay? And six is a nice even number. It looks good here. It, it looks like a nice farm. We have tomatoes, wheat, potatoes, sugar cane, carrots, and then of course we already have pumpkins. And I told you to keep that frame in mind. So these are the six crops that we're getting. The rumor is that we're getting more based on this frame which is the one that we just looked at. All right, so I have to move my uh, my camera a little bit, but here we go. This is the frame that really got people thinking, this sign right here. And again, they modeled this brand new to signify that, okay, Leaf has crop starters. So that's another reason I think that that last rumor is, is totally false. I think they're still gonna visit our islands, but this one is about the sign itself. And as you can see, there is clearly a picture of a tomato, a picture of a carrot, and a picture of a pepper. That looks like a pepper. I don't know what else it could be. It ain't wheat, okay? It ain't sugarcane. That to me looks like a pepper. Um, I tried to even go back to some of the cooking DIYs. I couldn't really find anything, but let's take a look anyway. Here are the cooking DIYs, and we're going to come back to this frame as well. But I don't see any peppers in here, at least. So the rumor is we're getting more crops. I actually tend to believe that more just based on that leaf sign. I tried to see if maybe there was like a stuffed pepper recipe or something that would like more so solidify it. But judging by that sign, I'm going to believe this rumor. I think we are getting more crops. Next up, we have a rumor about Cap'n. And this rumor is kind of implying that we are going to be getting more fruits. Okay, so there is... And, and here's the thing. This wasn't shown at all. Similar to the Brewster Jobs and things like that. But the big rumor is that we are going to be getting fruits. Okay, and... This has some truth to it. I, I kind of am on board with this rumor simply because of what Cap'n's done in previous games. Cap'n has taken us to Tortimer's Island in previous games, which of course had like durians and bananas and different fruits that were in the game. Now, nothing points to this. There wasn't like a, a, a frame like off in the distance that had a banana tree or anything. I mean, people think it's a banana tree, but I think it's just a lower stage like a younger stage of a coconut tree. Here's my thinking with this, and the reason why I do believe that we are going to be getting more fruits. There has to be some incentive to go on these cap-in rides, okay? So, like right here, when the player gets off, the landscape is very different. Obviously, we have new bushes, we have new vines, we have glowing weeds. We also have weird things like Palm trees growing on the grass. I mean, that's like, that goes against New Horizons logic, whatever logic they do have. They didn't really show a ton. I mean, they showed like different islands in different time of, like you can go to a nighttime island, a winter island. I just feel like there's going to be more to find on these islands. And I really hope there is because if there's only like a couple bushes and weeds and vines and we can do that on one tour, then what's the incentive to keep going back? So I'm actually on board with this rumor. I think we're getting more fruits as well. Next up in this one is hot right now. All right. There is a lot of back and forth. And um, if this is true, it is going to be a game changer. Uh, I'm going to give a spoiler alert and saying I don't believe this next rumor. Okay. So there is a, uh, you know, they showcase the new Nook Mile items. Okay. Finally, we have new things to spend our Nook Miles on. And as you can see right here, there is a new item set 
that starts with plaza, okay? And people are going crazy thinking that we are going to be able to decorate our plaza. And I gotta say, so well, let's look at the items first. You got plaza game stand, plaza teacup ride, plaza train. And the plaza teacup ride is really what's getting people kind of all riled up because we have the normal teacup ride and now we have plaza teacup ride. And the thinking here is that we are going to be able to decorate our plaza. I don't believe this rumor. I think that the plaza in New Horizons is a vital piece to the game, okay? KK Slider still comes over. Our NPCs, which is another rumor, I think they are still going to come over. Uh, there's other events such as like the fireworks show, New Year's. Our holiday NPCs show up in the plaza. I just think that there's too much going on in the plaza to let us customize it the way that we wanted. So, and also if we were able to customize it with this plaza furniture, where would that stuff go? You know, when, when New Year's happened or something like that, like surely it wouldn't stay there. So I'm going to say no. And I'm like a hundred percent confident in this. I hope this video doesn't age poorly, but I'm going to go out and say that I don't think this is the case. I think plaza to them is just another item set name and it just gives all like, you know, it's all carnival related stuff. So I think that plaza is just like a weird sub name that they gave it. Let me know what you think about this. I don't believe this one. Okay, next rumor is, uh, well, the next two are all going to be about Happy Home Paradise. This is my favorite part of the direct, if I'm being honest. And I stopped the frame right here because these sticks and we'll go to some other things. These sticks are causing chaos, okay? People think we are going to be able to decorate our like ponds and stuff. And I guess this next rumor is just like a lot of the things that we are seeing on the Happy Home Paradise Island, we are going to do on our islands or we're going to be able to do on our islands. Uh, I just wanted to point to something else. So, okay, this is another example. I mean, the little walk down going to the beach. I don't think that we are going to be able to do this. I think what the Happy Home Paradise Island is, it's just Nintendo's way to make this a different feeling island than ours. So I think it is going to have like special developer decorations that we can't get on our island. And honestly, I'm okay with that. I kind of do want it to look unique. We'll go on a little bit more. So there's the stick in the water. I don't know. I, I just don't think it does look a little suspect. Okay. The fact that it is just like by itself, just chilling there. I feel there, there might be some truth to it, but I really think that this is just to make this island look unique and not like a player's island. Here's another example that people are saying. I mean, this palm tree is definitely not like the ones we can grow. It's definitely bigger. It's longer. It's cool. I wish that we could, we could do that. But I think this is just another example of Nintendo trying to make this island look unique. Uh, so I am going to say that this rumor is not true. I don't believe in the sticks. I don't believe in the palm tree. There's another shot of villagers like floating on little floaties and things like that. There's, there's villagers barbecuing on the beach and things. I just think that this boils down to happy home paradise, having that paradise feel, having that like unique feel. So I don't think our Islanders are going to randomly start floating on floaties. I know that that's kind of like a buzzkill. But I just don't see some of this stuff coming back to our islands. I don't think that we're going to start getting birds on our beaches and things like that. I think this is exclusive to Happy Home Paradise. But I've been seeing this go around, so I just kind of wanted to address it and say that I'm not buying it. And the last one for today, and again, let me know your opinions on all of these. The last one has to do with inviting residents to the archipelago. And the big rumor here is if you invite your residents to this Happy Home Paradise island... They'll leave your island forever, okay? Uh, I'm not buying this rumor. Uh, I don't think this is the case. I, I don't think Nintendo would, like, have our favorite villager leave forever. And basically, I want to play this little sound clip from the narrator here. And I want you guys to focus in on when she says vacation home. I think vacation home is the key word here. So let's just say what they have to say about inviting villagers. And by gifting your residents a special souvenir from Paradise Planning, they may become interested in what the archipelago has to offer. They may even ask you to design a vacation home for them. So, I don't know. I, I just feel like they emphasized vacation home. 
And normally vacation home isn't something that's permanent. So I think we are going to be able, well, obviously we're going to be able to invite our villagers over there, but I don't think it's a long-term thing. I think they're going to bounce between our islands. So I think if you go to your islands, they're going to be there. But also if you go to the happy home paradise, they'll probably be there as well. So let me know what you think of all these rumors. I think I gave my opinion on all of them. I'm pretty confident about my opinion. Some of them are speculative. Some is just critical thinking. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I cannot wait for 2.0. I'll be streaming it here on the channel. Uh, I hope you guys had fun with this video and I'll see you very soon. Peace out.